So, there's been a new mining farming method that's come to light in Treasure Anadia. It's called the oil method, where you farm jasmine oil to sell to Barissa. But is it better? Is it faster than the old talisman method that I showcased a few months ago? Well, let's find out. Hello guys, I'm TW1 and this is Treasure Anadia version 63121 which is the latest paid version at time of recording. In this test, I am going to be starting in the Squalva and I am going to be recording how long it takes to farm every single ingredient for 33 massage oils, craft them all and then sell them all. I'm going to do 33 because the maximum items you can hold is 99 and 33 just means I can multiply it by 3 so I'm going to save myself 3 times the time. It's time is money and all that sense. Once I've done that, I'm then going to spend the same amount of time at farming the talisman in a new location. So if you see the old talisman farming method, you want to check out this video because there's a new location that is better. And then I'm also going to talk about the mass behind it, what method does better per minute, and if there's any changes in the future that we might want to keep an eye out on for to see if either of these methods can get improved and there are some things to look out for, so we're going to speak about that a little bit later as well. First up though is the oil method, if you don't know about it, by combining the jasmine plant, love potion, basic container and rose and moss, you can get the massage oil that you can then go and sell to Barissa. So first I went to the north side of the river to where the jasmine plant spawns, and while I was there, I collected a few talisman as well, it felt like it was a waste of time ignoring them, it felt a little bit unrealistic as well if I just ignored them. So once I collected the 33 jasmine plant, I then had to go into the cave system to where the spawn location is for the Rosa Moss. If you don't recognise this location, this is where you trap the two goons in the story. And this is where problem number one arises with this method. If the jasmine plant and the moss spawned in the same location, that would save you a huge chunk of time. And time is money when you are farming in Treasure and Nadia. Once I had gotten the 33 moss though, I was off to the squall mark to buy 33 basic containers. And then it was off to the worst part of this method. It's, it's brutal this one. You have to buy the love potions and then craft the oil and then buy the love potions then craft the oil. You cannot hold more than one love potion at a time. So this is a lot of repetitive clicking and it wastes a lot of time. Once I've gone through all of that, we have to click, 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 click. It's time to Barissa to sell all of them. And you can't even bulk sell them either. So you have to sit there and click through this as well. And they haven't even made it so you can just spam the space bar because they've made it so the selection screen for all of the massages is first and selling option is second so you actually have to be paying attention as well. Finally, when I've done that, it's off to the squad mark safe to collect the money out of that as well. That oil method took about 29 minutes so I gave myself 27 and a half minutes for the talisman method one because i made a couple of mistakes while crafting and two i wanted to give myself enough time to get back from the new location back to the score mark in the same kind of region i want to keep it under 30 minutes so it's a nice fair comparison i then reloaded my game wasting all of the profits from the first run because i want to start with exactly the same amount of money in the bottom left hand corner and the same amount of transition screens loaded up in your save by that, I mean, when you filled up your safe and you put a load of fillweed in there, you get money per transition screen. At the moment, I think it's $75 per transition screen. And then it is off to north side of the island where the jasmine plant spawns because that is now the new best place to farm talisman in Treasure and Nadia. There are 15 spawn locations in one area alone. It's, it's stunning versus the old method that had 11 spread over two very large areas as well, which does cost time. Every single time your character has to move to that talisman to pick it up, that's costing you time. You don't want to be wasting any time at all, so this new method is a little bit better. Talking about my old locations and guides, there's been quite a few upgrades since then as well. We have more talisman. We have the grand and royal talisman in the game. The grand giving you 12k and the royal giving you 36 Secondly, we have the new guidebook that makes rarer talismans spawn a little bit more often. And like I referred to a little bit earlier, we have more fillweed in the game. I think when I originally done this video, you were getting around $56 per transition screen. Now you get 75 so that is a little bit more bang for your buck. We now have max awareness and intellect boost from Parissa and Jessica, as well as the big one, the satellite phone that allows us to automatically sell all of our talisman, which means we won't cap out in our inventory room and we also don't have to go to Diana to sell stuff, so that's saving us a bigger chunk of time. When the timer hit zero, I ran back to the score bar and picked up the money from the safe. Now, 
let's let's do some maths. I, I know I know we don't want to do maths, but let's let's have a little chat about maths first. From the oil method, we made a grand total of four hundred and fifty-eight thousand five hundred and sixty. That includes the seventy-five thousand and nine hundred that we had to spend to buy all of the love potions and basic containers. So, if we had farmed for the full 99 Massar's Oils, we would have got a whopping 1,375,680 in about one and a half hours. That, roughly, is about $15,258 per minute. So, let's say 15k per minute makes it a great, great, great method. It's a lot of money, and if you do that for a couple of hours... Of say a day for a week you're gonna have all of the money in the game you need to buy all the upgrades but and it's a big but from the talisman method in the same amount of time we earned a huge six hundred and forty five thousand seven hundred and ninety eight which means if we had farmed for one and a half hours we would have roughly earned a stunning 1.9 million million that works out to be 21,526 per minute. And that's just over 6k per minute better than the oil method. Now, let's, let's have a little talk about what future changes we might see in the game that may affect either of these methods. And what ones we should be looking out for. Well, the main one that I'm looking out for is bulk buying, bulk crafting and bulk selling. If we get either of these three additions to the game the oil method will greatly improve and it's going to save us a lot of time as i was finished with the collection part of the farming method for the oil in under 15 minutes meaning if i could have bulk bought all of the oil, all of the containers all of the love potions and bulks crafted and bulk sold all of them we would be looking at around 30k per minute for the oil method that is 9,000 better than the talisman method and that's stunning that's great but I really doubt any of those additions are likely, so we're going to have to look to the Talisman method for any new improvements to improve how much money we can earn per minute. The likely ones, maybe a new shovel. We have had this shovel for quite a while, and that would cut down animation sides. If we could pick up golds like that, we wouldn't have to wait for that little animation. That would be a great addition. A new Talisman as well, maybe like an Emperor Talisman or something that costs even more money. I know the top one is 36000 at the moment. What if we got one where that was over 100k or in around 100k? That would be stunning. Or maybe just a better sporting location. I, I doubt, the doubt that's coming because the one at the moment is ridiculous because of how tight the spawns are. But if you do get one and you spot one, that will be the better place to be farming. Anyways, that was a lot of maths, but I think we've answered the question. What is the best farming method in Treasure Nadia? It's the Talisman method. North side of the island, by the Jasmine plant. Thank you very much for watching. If for any reason you want the raw footage to see if I've cheated or anything, you, you can have it. I don't know why. It's, a, it's about an hour's worth of footage. You don't really want it. But until next time, hit like, hit subscribe for more Treasure Nadia stuff. And as always, guys, peace out.